In this video, I will show you how to use Canva Magic Media. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on canva.com. Now, Magic Media is basically like a text to video or a text to image AI application. Now to go ahead and use this, first thing you're going to want to do is get hold of the app. So what you're going to want to do first is come across to your toolbar on the left hand side, go ahead and click onto apps. Then in the search box at the top, just go ahead and type magic media and then press enter. So this is the magic media app. So what you can do is click onto this and I've already got this installed. However, for yourself, it's going to say use app at the bottom purple button. So you just want to go ahead and click that. And that's going to add the app to your apps down here in the bottom left hand corner corner. So once you've added it, go ahead and give it a click. And as you can see at the top, we've got two options. We've got images and video. Now to go ahead and use the text to image feature, all you need to do is simply describe the image you want and we'll generate it for you. So it's very similar to if you've used things like Mid Journey or Leonardo. So it's quite easy to use. All you need to do is go ahead and put a prompt in here. So you want to include objects, colors, and places. There's also a button here to try an example. So I'm going to click onto this and it's generated a prompt. So as you can see, it says close up of cocktail on a bar. Now what we can do is come down here to styles and we can choose what kind of style we want our image to be in. So if we click on see all, you can see a ton of different styles we can choose. And I think in this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and select retro wave, which is this one here. So you can also go ahead and change the aspect ratio down at the bottom. And once you're happy, you want to come down to the bottom and press the purple generate image button. So what's going to happen, it's just going to take a minute or two to go ahead and generate your images. In total, it does generate four different images. And as you can see, here are our four different images. So you can see they're actually really cool. So you can just click to add these to your design and you can just go ahead and resize this and move it about on your design, just like so. Now, if you want to use Magic Media, to generate a video what you're going to want to do is come up and select videos at the top and this time what you want to do is describe a scene to generate a few seconds of video now this video feature is actually quite new it's still in beta at the moment at the time of recording so it's not brilliant but it does still do a very good job so again what i'm going to do is just click this box to try an example so you can see this time the prompt says a sunset over the ocean in the style of prof professional cinematography natural light when you put your prompt in you can be as descriptive as you want and the more descriptive and the more specific you get the more better the results are going to be so again what we're going to do is come down and click the generate video button just down here and again it takes a bit longer to do the videos about a couple of minutes so i'm just going to wait for that to generate and then i'll be back to show you what this looks like so here we are our video has now been generated as you can see the prompt was a sunset over the ocean in the style of professional cinematography natural light so what we can do is click to add this to our design and then we can just play this and as you can see canvas done a very very good job of generating this few seconds of video based on our prompt so that is a quick overview on how to use magic media in canva i hope this quick tutorial did help you out today and if this did help you out i would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel with that being said i just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and i will see See you in the next video.